What do you remember most clearly about the first and the last times you met Romery Bearden? I can remember as if it were yesterday when I first met him. I had been trying to see examples of his work and I had gone to every museum I could possibly think of in New York. Museum of Modern Art, the Whitney, the Guggenheim, and finally, in exasperation, I just went to a payphone. They, they had public phones actually on the street in those days. And I opened up the directory, and his name was in the directory. So I called him, and I asked if I could come to his studio to see some work of his, and he said yes. And so my husband and I traveled down to Chinatown, that's where he lived, to 357 Canal Street. And I remember ringing the doorbell, and um, he buzzed us. And he lived in a five st on the fifth floor of a walk-up. So we walked up these narrow steps, and he was, he was at the top of the steps. And he was standing there, smiling at us, as if we were old friends. And that was such a vivid memory. I had never met him in my life. He didn't know who I was, and there he was standing at the top of those steps just smiling at us. My last image of him is very, very sad. Um, I had learned that he was very sick, and I had gone to the hospital, to New York Hospital, and I got a, just a glimpse of him. He was sleeping, he was kind of groggy, um, he was suffering from bone cancer, and he was just a shadow of himself. And it was very clear that uh, we were going to lose him. And that was my last image of him. How do you describe your personal mission? My personal mission? That's a great question. Uh, my personal mission in terms of this book was to get his, his personal story right. To, to really tell the story of how he struggled with his artwork how he struggled with um, the role of being an artist versus being a black artist. How he struggled to get to collage, which became his, his medium, his metier. Um, that was very important to me, that mission. But also in telling that story, I also wanted to tell the story of the period in which he lived. He was born uh, during the Jim Crow era. He grew up in the Depression. Uh, he went. He was in the Army during World War II. And his life and his art really came to life during the Civil Rights Movement. And I wanted to get that. It was my mission to really get the full flavor of each of those historical eras that he passed through.